Hi you guys, how are you? Welcome to my Why I Love to Swim video. Uh, but first I have old business, of course, what I forget in my prior video from Walmart. I didn't have the receipt, I found it. I knew it had it somewhere, but the grand total on that was $189.48. So yeah, but I got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, gifts, a lot of gifts in there. So uh, using my Amazon black and, actually these are purple, purple and polka dots. Love them, I love them so much. But um, anyway, I decided I wear my swimsuit. This is what I wear, I wear one piece halter. It's very comfortable. Uh, I think I got this at that Diane's in Manhattan Beach. Um, it's stretchy. Um, I sometimes wear two piece, but when I'm here at home and I, I'm down by myself by the pool and I don't wanna get any sun, I don't go out and sunbathe anyway. This just seems to be really, really comfortable. So I was gonna take you um, from start to finish uh, when I get ready to leave my apartment to go down to the pool. Um, so yeah, I wanna say one of the reasons I do swim, it's relaxing and it's really good on my joints. Uh, seems like when I walk for any X amount of time, I um, come back and I hurt the rest of the day. I, I limp, I, I, it's hard for me to get up. So. I just find swimming to be very rewarding. I took swimming at the fitness uh, place where I was and I did um, some of those um, classes that they had and I learned so much and I'm gonna get some of those water weights because they are amazing. You think, cause they're, they're heavy stuff, they're, they're styrofoam, but you, there's, you can get like double disc on the ends of them. But there are so, and so many different exercises that you can do in the water as you do in your gym. So that those are really really good. I'm, I I felt so good when I did those classes. Of course, now none of the gyms have been open since March. Um, our gym here isn't open. I don't know if I will join a gym again. I want to, you know, um, if I move somewhere, I would like to have access to like a, a gym in the pool and that like a what is that HOA fee to do that. So because I'm not a gym person, you know, you got all the buff buns and the little skinny girls, maybe that's just Southern California, but um, they're fit and that's cool. But you know, I was an old lady. So um, yeah, I uh, like swimming. Um, it uh, gets me out in the fresh air of the sun. I get some vitamin vitamins from the sun. Uh, it's not the glamorous sport for me because I do not look good wet. I do not look good with my hair wet. I go with my, no makeup and I will show you how, pretty much how I look when I'm down there. But uh, first of all, I, I get ready, I put my suit on, and uh, you gotta have your little tote bag. So this is how I pack up. I, um, I, I swim with fins, and I'll tell you why in a minute, why I'm, I do all this. Um, I swim with uh, swim goggles, like you're uh, snorkeling. I have my, breathing apparatus. I have a swim cap, very important, um, especially if you don't want to dry your hair out because chlorine is so drying. I got a black one and I got a pink one. I lost the black one. I actually just found it right before this video. I have lost it like for a year, it's so crazy. But I get the Speedo ones because they're pretty, and this was a Nike one, but they have a lot of extra room for your hair as you will see later. There's a, a bigger area if you have longer hair to put in. So I usually just take one of them down, but we'll throw them both in. Uh, I take a cap and I take my sunglasses and you will see why, I will tell you why. I'm going through the, the uh, schedule as I, you know, go to prepare to go down to the pool. And I went yesterday, the other day, well not yesterday, but yeah, yesterday at noon and it was so nice. I usually wait and wait till they open at 10. And, but it was so much warmer. The, the water was glistening more. I'm like, I need to do that. And there were only like two people, but they were sunbathing. So they weren't even in the pool. And um, so I, I usually then, uh, once I have this all packed, I don't take my phone. I do take my keys, but okay. So once this is packed, um, oh, you know what we forgot to do, you guys? Hang on, I uh, hang, hang, hang on. We have to do this. We forgot to cheer it for the day because that's most important, right? Let me just put that up there. Okay, Woo, we're back here. I won't get to that in a minute, but 
Get your drink of choice out. Woo, we're gonna cheers to, what do you think? I'm gonna use the uh, SunFast Keto one today, 99 cents store value. I usually don't eat before I go down. Um, I feel like if I eat, if it's just something light, I just, I feel sluggish in the water and I feel like I'm going to have acid reflux or whatever. And this may be TMI, but um, I, I usually just have, you know, a little glass of water and, you know, cause I'm, I feel like I'm busy in the morning getting stuff around what I'm gonna do, whether it's Posh, a YouTube video, or uh, seeing one of the girls and help them, or I usually just sit down first in the morning and, and watch the news. And our, our pool used to be open at um, eight o'clock in the morning. So I, I do miss that. I don't know why, I don't know why they're not open at that time. I know they're not busy, but I don't know what it's hurting. It's just sitting out there anyway. Okay, you guys, and I'm going to, of course, use my new home goods mug. It's a polka dot, it's a polka dot. So, uh, what was this flavor? Uh, I, can't, I can't read about it, let me get my glasses on. So, okay. So I hope you all have a cheers thing because this is fun. This is like really, really fun. You know what, I'm just gonna put these oh, glasses on my head. Oh. Almost forgot one of the most important things to put take with me, but um, let's go to see what flavor this is. It is creamy mocha latte. Oh my gosh, I really I do love this. I love mocha. I love that mocha coffee that you can buy at the grocery store at Starbucks in those little glass containers. Oh, love this. Now this whole bottle is 180 calories, so that's pretty cool. Five eight grams of protein, eight carbs, so. Nutritious, nutritious for the day. So I would have like maybe a couple sips of this before I go down. I usually have my vitamins in the morning. So my calcium and my uh, one a day for older women where I all them little things. I, oh, they gotta be, they gotta be chewy. I mean, I could swallow them, but mm, I don't think I want to. So anyway, you guys, cheers. Here's cheers to swimming and keeping our bodies healthy and strong. No matter, no matter what age, you guys, it's so important. Mmm, mmm. Oh, this is so good. I've never had this. I love the mocha, the mocha, mocha, mocha latte. That's good. Oh gosh, I, I feel another 99 cent trip coming up. Oh well. Mmm. And I have to say, it tastes so better out of a polka dot cup. <laughs> anyway, this is how you guys treat yourselves. This is how, when you live alone, it's like little things like this that make you happy. Mm. That is very, very good, you guys. So I'm gonna put that up here. And we'll get back to the packing on my bag. So, not done yet. I, just, I try and pack this up like the night before sometimes because I'll forget. And then I'll walk across something like, oh, I forgot to put that in. I got important to have a towel because it gets cold when you dry off. So I got this beluga whale. I think I got this from uh, SeaWorld down in San Diego. So take that with, because I wrap myself up in the towel when I come back. But on the way down, I put on an oversized t-shirt. Like I'll put, I, usually, I usually wear this one because I'm modest. I, you know, there are girls and boys. <laughs> they wear their swimsuits in the lobby because you gotta go through the lobby to get to the pool and it's like no nobody wants to really see this woman so put that on don't have to pack that but um got my mask i wear my mask down one important thing if you have long hair a little a little rubber band scrunchies are too big and they pull and i'll i'll, I'll tell you why once i because we're going to go down, not down the pool, literally, but we're going to be going down the pool. But this little thing is so important, that little rubber band. I use it like at the bottom of braids or something. And you can usually get these at um, CVS or um, any any drugstore. But you can get like a hundred of them for like a couple bucks. So very important to take. So, all right. So I put my mask on. And I'm prepared, I, I want to swim for at least a half an hour. And sometimes I'll try and get 45 minutes in. So anyway, 
here we go. We're heading out the door. We're going down to my pool. <laughs> oh, yay. Nobody's there. Woo, I got to sign in. So I pull my little table up, but I always sit by the deep end where the or shallow end where the steps are. And I proceed to get ready to swim. I put my feet in the water and um, I usually, uh, I don't unpack this a lot because I don't know, you know, I should clean those little tables. I think that I always see the uh, housekeeper down there always clean. And so to me, they've always been clean, but I keep this in until I absolutely need it. So what I will do, I will start unloading and I will put on my, my flippers first. These I wear you guys, because it's like a, uh, it's like weights on my legs and my feet, more so my legs, I can feel it. And it makes me push harder in the water. So this is why I wear my flippers. And then I'm just gonna take this out for now. Then I get out my mask and my air breather. Okay, so I got my flippers on. I'm usually sitting on the first or second step. Maybe someday I'll have, I'll have I'll, if nobody was down there, I could record it. And then you could just kind of see. That's a good video. Okay, so I got that ready to put on. Um, get your swim cap out. And then, this is for when I, uh, I'm done swimming or I just want to run in the water, like water jog. I will take all this off. And I actually put this on and my sunglasses because it is not a cute sight for people to see me, right? With wet, and it's like, I don't feel good. So I just do that, you guys. So I get this ready. I put my towel in and this, and then I just sit this on the table beside me. And then I finish getting ready. So won't need this either. So I'll fold this up because I'm not gonna wear this back home because I have, I'll have my wetsuit and that's why I just wear my towel back. So put that in our bag. Okay, so we got my flippers on. Pretend I got my flippers on, okay? On my feet. These are really, these are nice too. I got them at the surf shop. I had I've taken these to Koi many times, so I love them. They're good, they've lasted me many, many, many years. So it is good to invest in, um, good snor uh, snorkeling gear, right? Okay, so the next thing I do, I prepare my hair. Warning you guys, this is not gonna be a pretty sight. So I'm gonna try and sit back a little bit. What I just do, and my hair is getting so long, I don't, I, sh I gotta need to trim it. I just put a little one in the back, ponytail. Just like that, you guys. So then, and I know this isn't a, um, always lovely either but wear one you guys especially if you have blonde hair too because as chlorine just seems to seek into that and your hair will get damp under here but it won't get like you're continuously in the water when you swim because I do um uh, the crawl I guess it is crawl, the I don't know freestyle strokes mostly but I'll do the breast strokes too and then I'll do like a back float I don't I don't know what that's called uh backstroke well, that was the one you go over your head. So I do a little bit of each. I do a side stroke too. But one thing important too about the, uh, the swim cap, because when you have your, if you're going to use this, and I like to use this. Why you ask? Because I don't have to breathe. I can just swim. I can just concentrate on using my muscles. And I do. Otherwise, I got to think about breathing. And I get really tired faster. With this, I can swim way, way longer. So um, because you have the mask, you need to make sure all your hair is out of there or it's going to leak. The water is going to slowly leak. And I have contacts, so without water leaking over my contacts or, or it'll fill up your nose at the bottom if too much is leaking in. So you've got to make sure you have all your hair in your swim cap. So here we go. What I do, I, oh, heck, I, don't put a clip in, but I'll pull it all back, okay? Put it all back. Oh, you guys are seeing the real me. This is me waking up in the morning, right? And then I, I put, I just leave my ponytail out until I get to the back, but I wanna pull as much as I can to the back, okay? And then I will put my, uh, hair in there. So, because there's a lot of room back there, 
even if you have a thicker hair. But I, I've had it on top uh, too, my hair, and it just seems to pull this up because I don't like water in my ears. I might be yelling now because I can't hear with this over, but I try and pull that over. You want to make sure too that this is as far back all your hair is under because you're going to put your um, mask on this. So it feels good. Still sitting on my step with my flippers on. I don't know, I guess you can call them fins. You can call them whatever you want. But next, and then I'll put this up here. Now, I have, um, oh, I don't even know. There is this uh, fog cleaner you can put in your mask, um, it, but do it the night before, because when you get there, you want a dry, dry mask to start with, because it will fog up a little bit, because I swim a whole lot, and then I'll just stop like halfway through or 15, 20 minutes, clean my mask and go. But I don't get, I don't, I do not get that wet at all. Always making sure my hair is up over my ears because <laughs> they're not the worst. I hate, I hate water in my ears. So anyway, I push this under. Now there is a little hook on here. I don't ever, I don't do it. I feel like it's pulling me. You know, it all depends on, you know, how tall you are, I guess, how long your face is, but I do this before I put my mask down because if I if I have my mask down while I'm doing this, it'll fog my mask up before I get in the water. And then I gotta, you know, rinse it with the water and everything first. So I get this situated. I get I go down a couple steps and uh the the, the hardest part I have to say about the swimming you guys is getting in the water. It's it is on the warm side, but it is not like your bath water, right? And uh so that's the thing you just got to get in and get it done i look at these surfers down here and i see some go every day so you they have the wetsuits on of course but they must get you have to get used to it. and i kind of get used to it. it's like you know i want to do this it feels good and it's just like 30 seconds of oh your body's like okay but i swim swim really fast the first two laps so anyway so this is this and then this is me getting ready and then i'm going to go in the water and just start stroking there you go there you have it and, and you don't have to breathe you guys you just got this the air going in and out in and out I always make sure this is tilted back because if it's too front the water's going to get in it but this is how I can swim I love to swim I, I, I feel free. Uh, I feel like I'm doing something for my muscles and uh, it's going to make me feel better for the next couple days, actually for a long time. And um, yeah, so anyway, I do that and I, I do all what my exercises in there. Sometimes I can piddle, I can mess around in there for like an hour. But when I get, when I'm um, done swimming my uh, laps and that, and I just want a water jug, I'll take this off. I'll take, I'll take my flippers off. Sometimes I'll take my flippers off and then I'll, I'll keep this on and I will just um, do my freestyle with, with my regular feet, just flutter kicking. And if, it feels like, whoa, it takes you forever to get to the other end, but that's a good feeling. So and I'll do my breaststroke with this on. Uh, in the back though, when I'm on my back, I'll take all this stuff off. So, um, I'll keep my cap on. Well, no, if I'm just water, if, if I'm just water jogging, which is just running in the water and I'll, I'll exercise my arms and stuff too. Um, I will take my cap my head off, but I have to go over by my table. I feel like I'm so far away from you guys now. Let me get a little closer. Um, so this is where my cap and my sunglasses come in. Cause right now my hair is gonna be oh wet, all kind of matted down. And I'm just gonna put my cap on at this point. And I can still have my hat here back. But I'll put my cap on because I'm not gonna go under the water anymore. And then I feel I feel better because like I say, I do not look good wet. I just do it for me. Um, you know. Let me have a little bit more of this. But yeah, so this is when I my water walk, jog, um, do some exercise in the water. That's why I want to get those um, 
the weight, the water weights. There, this is the time to do it. Keep it a noodle to swim with a noodle. I'm just trying to work in all my muscles differently. And then you guys, um, I'm out of the water and all I have to do is put my towel on just like this. I wrap it around and off I come in to back to the apartment, right? So cool. I have to say when I do this, I feel such an accomplishment for the day. Um, now that I've been doing it like um, later, like noon or one o'clock, I try and get everything done before noon. I, do, I run my errands outside, you know, or into the post office if I have to. And I always come back though and shower first because you should always shower that chlorine off your body. Off your hair, I always um, wash my swimsuit a little bit. Just uh, douse it in your um, bathroom sink, just a couple drops. Let it in there, get in the shower, and then by the time rinse your suit and hang it in the shower, and you're all done. I always, I've been trying to let my hair uh, naturally dry if I really don't have to go anywhere. And then later if I, I want to flat iron it, I, I will. But yeah, that is my day when I swim. And like I say, I'm in and out, hour, hour, I'm back in here. Because you don't have to say, oh, you know, I gotta go, I gotta do half hour, you gotta do 45 minutes. You know, if you just get down there, even if you do 15 minutes, if you are, have access to a pool, you're so lucky. If you have your own pool, you're even luckier. But, um, you know, if you have a pool, you make good use of it. Oh my gosh, it, it, you'll feel so amazing. You'll feel like a feather and that's why I like it. It's like, you feel like you're one pound in the water. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, that is my exercise of choice. Um, and I think it will be for a long time. I do like to hike also, but um, there again, if I hike like for up to three hours, I, I'm pretty sore because you know the joints and my feet. And um, I don't know, I, I think it's, everybody gets older. I think they have some kind of a problem with that or, or arthritis. I have arthritis in my hips, so. Um, swimming is, is, I don't know, I think it's the best exercise ever to relieve any joint pain or anything that you have. Not to relieve it, but not to add to it, I guess I should say. So, anyway, you guys, let me know if you take up swimming. I, I, you know, you don't have to be a great, you don't have to be an Olympic swimmer to enjoy to swim. I'm going to come to the edge here and get a little closer because I am going to have to shut you guys down. But um, anyway, thanks for um, listening to me and why I swim. I think it's important and I think everybody maybe doesn't realize how good the benefits are of it. Like when your kids swim in the pool, I know you're out there, you know, playing with them, but that is all exercise. You just, you don't really realize it. In fact, I learned to swim at the YMCA in Freeport, Illinois. And her name was Miss Mrs. Wilhelms, I believe. And I, she taught my dad too, because my dad learned as an adult. But we learned in the YMCA. And uh, one thing I didn't like was the diving board. I don't like to dive, I don't know why. Um, I don't know if I had belly flop once, but I always had to dive in class. I'm like, why do we have to dive? Why? And even today, I'm like, why do I have to dive? I, you know, I can just slither in the pool or jump, but I, I, there's something about putting my head, it just mm, scares me, but anyway, I think it's really important for everybody to learn how to swim at some point in their life, even though if you go on a, uh, a boat or anything, it's very important, but always wear a life jacket if you go on a boat, and always, if you can't swim in a pool, and there is a deep end, or the kids don't know put a life jacket on no matter what you too as an adult put it on you just never know you know you, even if you clunk ahead don't and don't swim alone I don't like to swim alone I make sure there's somebody around there um because you don't know if you run into you know if you're swimming and you crash your head into the wall you can it can knock yourself out so I always make sure like the housekeeper that or somebody's laying in the chair uh, but like I said, there's really uh, nobody in the pool. So anyway, keep yourself safe if you do swim, you guys. Until next time, cheers. I love you all. Be safe. Bye-bye.